What's up adventurers? Let's check out a new backpack today. Today we're gonna check out the, whoa, I need to back up a little bit. How about that? Today we're gonna be checking out the Simple Studios Travel Pack. I heard about this bag from one of your comments below, so thank you for recommending this. We're excited to check it out. I have not interacted with this at all, so I'm gonna be discovering it for the first time with you watching. Is that weird? All right, so it's nice and sleek, good design. The material feels nice, feels weather resistant. Um, nice YKK zippers. Everything looks good. Let's just, let's start checking out the features. I do like their branding touch. Very small, subtle here. There's one back here. On the back side, you have this kind of hard foam uh, backing that gives a little bit of air circulation. There is a sternum strap on the backpack straps, and the straps itself are they're they're fairly padded. They feel comfortable. And there are a couple connection points for the straps at the bottom that you can quickly release. I'm assuming so you can stow away these straps. Let's just go ahead and do that. So there is a zippered section in here. I can stuff these boys away. And the straps are gone with a nice clean profile. I do know there are three ways to wear this bag. Uh, you have the backpack way, you have kind of a briefcase way, and you also have a duffel way. I'm assuming there is a strap somewhere here that I will look for, and you can strap it into uh, any sort of uh, combination of rings. There is a ring on top here. My guess is you would go into that and into this here so that you can wear it as a duffel. Otherwise, nice big handles, one on top, one on the side. Uh, you also have a suitcase pass-through so that you can put, put it down on your suitcase if you need it. In the back, there is a secret hidden pocket back here to access. Wow, it's actually really big. Sorry, my watch got in the way there. Um, I expected it to be kind of a small, just passport section, but it covers all the way from here down to like here or so. So like between my hands right there is the pocket. Nice low profile, keep anything valuable, anything you need easy access to. There's a big water bottle holder on this side. Uh, it stretches after you unzip it. So it's got a little mesh section there. If you don't need it, you can zip it back up so it's not kind of loose or, or hanging which I really like. Okay, on the top we have a small zipper here with super soft felt. I assume this is for sunglasses, anything of that sort that you don't want scratched. And in the front you have one zipper section here. Pretty flat, it doesn't open a ton, but for any you know papers, any loose items that you want easy access to right in the front. Besides that, there are some loops on the side of the bag. They're very low profile, but you could tie things to this. They're on both sides. Um, you can just kind of attach things across. Let's open it up. I'm telling you, I haven't opened it yet. This, ooh, lots of organization. On the front side, you open it up and you have little tie loops here for cables. You have a mesh section right here for any valuables. And then you have just kind of an open pocket here. There is also an inner pocket on the flip side to organize any items, as well as a key ring that is removable. There you go. Removable key ring. This is kind of cool. It's a magnetic key ring. So you got the key ring here. Pretty satisfying. On the back side, you got that secret pocket here, and then right next to it, you have a laptop pocket. Huge, fits large laptops. It's nice and felt on the inside. Now let's check out the main compartment. Whoa. Okay, main compartment time. I gotta back up even more. So it opens like a clamshell, and there are two major sections to it. Let's start with the back. I hear something inside. I assume it's more tissue paper. 
Okay, so the flap opens sideways so that when you are packing it, it holds like this. It is a pretty nice and rigid section. It's about three inches thick and holds its shape really well. Inside, we have the duffel strap, which I will try after this. Otherwise, it's just a big opening. What I would do is have a couple packing cubes, really organize my stuff. Then you have this zipper section to make sure that it's well contained. Very nice, very nice. Now on the flip side, we got what sounds like more tissue paper. There is a mesh pocket here to keep. I don't know what you keep in mesh pockets underwear, socks. Then you open it up to find all your beautiful clothes. You know, when you're packing your clothes, you just stuff it in there like that so it's easy to get out. Again, another large section. This one doesn't hold as rigid of a shape uh, just because it, it is able to collapse kind of when it's not full, but it is there. Um, there is some shape to it. You would put Definitely not as full of packing cubes on this side, but I would still use packing cubes. Okay, let's check out this duffel. Similar latches to how the backpack uh, straps work. I'm gonna go with my gut and put it the way I thought initially. Okay, so now you got the duffel. It actually carries pretty nice. It ergonomically kind of just sits against your body and um, the strap feels good. There's a little padding right here. So that's it. This is the Simple Studios travel pack. This one I think is 35 liters. Um, I will link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. Overall, a great pack. I'm excited to try it out on the road. It has a lot of uh, good features, a lot of good organization in it. The downside for me is it doesn't have anything that's dedicated for camera gear. I will try to see if I can throw a camera cube in the backside. Um, in that kind of larger area, but it will be harder to access. Uh, but otherwise, you know, if I'm not traveling with a camera, this is a super nice pack. I can carry probably a full weekend's worth of stuff in here. Let me know if you have any questions or if there are any other packs you want me to check out and happy adventuring.